dear students let's do an activity with the help of geogebra the name of the activity is, is construct a triangle with the sides 9 units and two angles 60 degree and 75 degree one side and two angles are given so let's start myself is amandeep sahni from gmhs 49d chandigarh welcome to maths activities and tricks first of all i will go to the line tool segment with given length i will click on the segment with given length here i will click then a pop up window will appear on the graphics window and i will fill here nine units then click on okay for the length of this line segment i will go to the line tool i will go to the angle tool then distance or length click on the distance or length i will click on the line segment then f is equal to 9 is appeared below the line segment so you see that there are two interfaces here first is algebra and second one is graphics window in algebra interface you can clearly see a coordinate a point the coordinates of a are also given b point the coordinates of b are also given and f is equal to 9 it means whatever we will do will be shown in the graphics window and its details will be given in algebra window all right okay now i will go to the angle tool angle with given size so i want to make an angle on point a so i will go fr from b through a to a point c this is the angle so i will firstly click on b then on a so a pop up window comes appears on the graphics window i will fill up here the first angle that i want to make on a so i will fill up here 60 degree i will not uh, delete degrees from here so 60 degree and there are two options counter clockwise and clockwise i will select counter clockwise then click on okay so angle is appeared so angle is alpha is equal to 60 degree appeared this is a and b if i want to uh, only uh, get the value of this degree rather than alpha or beta etc then i will click on right click on this and object properties in object properties i will go to the basics then on show label there is a name and value so i need only value then i will click on value and cross this so you see that a 60 degree appears here and there is also a b dash there is also a b dash b dash on the graphics window so i will make a, a line that will go through a to b so i will select a line then i will select point a then you see that there is a line and wherever i want to fix it i can fix it i want to fix it through b dash so i will click on b dash now 60 degree angle has been made on the point a now i want to make an another angle of 75 degree at the point b so i will go on angle to angle with the given size now i want to make an angle at the point of b so i will go from a through b to a point c so it means firstly i will click on a then on b so a pop up window is appeared so i will fill here the required angle that is 75 degree now i will move clockwise so i will select the option clockwise and okay so you see that beta is equal to 75 degree is appeared beta is equal to 75 degree is appeared i don't need to name the angle so i will right click go to the object properties basics and in show label there is a name and value 
I need only value, so I will click on the value and cancel it. So you, you see that 75 degree is written on the angle B. So now I want to make. Uh, now I want uh, you see that there is also a dash. There is also a dash uh, that is on the graphics window. So I want to make a line that will go from B through a dash. So firstly, let me uh, shift my question from here to there. All right, okay. Now I will select the line tool. Make a for making a line from B to a dash. I will click on B. Then a line through a dash. So I will click on a dash. You see that a line is clearly seen. Both these lines are intersected at a point. So now I want to get this point of intersection. So I will go to the point tool, intersect. For making intersection, I have two options. Either I can click on the point of intersection or I can click these two lines because I need the point of intersection of these two lines. So for getting the exact point, I will click on this line and there that line. So you see that a point of intersection C, a point of intersection C has appeared at the point of intersection. So now I will hide the uh, unrequired objects from here. Firstly, I don't need this line. So I will right click on this line and uh, uncheck the show object. Then I will right click on this line, then uncheck the show object. I also do not need these two points, so I will uncheck these two points also. Uh, now I do not also need this line segment, then I will click on show object. So alright, you see that there are three points A, B and C and with two angles. Now I will go to the polygon tool for making my triangle. For polygon tool, what is written on the polygon tool? Just put your mouse at the polygon tool and see what is written. Select all vertices, then first vertex again. So I will grow from A, then click on B, and thereafter go to the C, and then come back to the first vertex again. That is A. So you see that a triangle has been made with two angles 60 degree and 75 degree but now the length of the line segment is C written at here I need the length of this side I will go to the angle tool uh, distance or length and click on this line segment so C is equal to 9 is written under this line segment it means the length of this line segment is 9 with two angles 60 degree and 75 degree. So required angle is required triangle is triangle ABC. So I feel that you have understood that how can we make uh, constructions uh, with the help of GeoGebra tool. Thank you very much.